situation, multiple choice question, one option is correct and other three options are correct. What do you do? Hey there, my name is Nates and if you have a storyline, problem, issue, bug, challenge, new project, you can jump to storylineaudit.com and you can get my help with that particular issue. Now let's go to the video. So this is my situation here. I have six answers, but only two options are correct. And by two options, I mean you can either select quiz or you can select words, question mark and slide. So either one option or other three options. And we want this to track correctly. So we're going to go with a good old freeform hack. So let's insert a pick one. And here on my slide, I already have prepared two circles, correct and wrong. Now from the form view, I'm going to pick correct and wrong and correct is of course the correct one. Now, how do we select these options before we submit? The thing is we, it would be very, time consuming and we would need many triggers if we want to do this by state. So if we would say if quiz is selected, then select correct. But then you have all the other versions. If these three are selected, then this is what about if these two are selected or maybe all are selected. You have to keep checking what's selected, what's not selected, so on and so on. And it's just too difficult. So we're going to take another approach. We're going to go straight to the submit button. Uh, when users click submit button, submit pick one. Okay, this is, uh, this is not the correct one, but we can copy paste. Now we'll do this later. Just let's, ah, uh, it's really, it annoys me. I cannot delete this one, you know, but if I go to the submit, it just disappears. I, I think I should have the option here to submit this. I don't know. Maybe it's another bug. So the submit button. What we'll do is we're going to check if the things we want are selected while the user clicks the submit button. We're going to change the state of our correct to state selected. When user clicks the submit button on the condition that our object I have, I have a in front of all the objects, so they are on top and it's also the same as answer and they are, they are all here in a group. So I'll just list this here and then we're going to set the actual states. So if the state of the a select is, I'm going to just say not selected because most are not selected. So let's go with, let's just copy paste this and question mark duplicate quiz, duplicate, slide, duplicate, Spock, duplicate, and words. Now for this version, I just wanted to have the quiz version. So let's say when the state of quiz is selected and all the rest are not selected. In this case, change the state of correct to selected. So that will be one version. Now we have to do this, all the all the conditions for the other version and we can do a little trick here. So I'll just click OK, then I'll click copy and then I'll right click again and I'll, I'm going to say paste conditions. And I just duplicated all the conditions because you cannot do this here except one by one like an animal. So I'm just, just going to start again with uh, Nutella. So this is or. Da, 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 da. And now let's change the version here. So the quiz is not selected. And the correct wor uh, correct over options are words, question mark, slide. So uh, question mark, slide, and words. So double check, not, not, quiz, not, 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 not. And then we have question mark selected, slide selected, word selected. Okay. 
And now we need one more trigger, which is, of course, submit the interaction when user clicks submit. So first, when user presses the submit, bu submit button, the correct uh, option gets selected and then submit pick one uh, happens. Let's try. No, so I can, I can select as many as I want. So let's go with quiz. Correct. I, uh -huh, now let's say words, question mark, slide, submit. Correct, fantastic. Replay. Now I'll do the wrong version. Submit, invalid answer. Because at this point, nothing has been selected. Now one way you could do this is that the default state of the wrong so of the wrong object would be selected already. So when user comes on the slide, they click submit. And if it's incorrect or nothing is selected, it will be wrong. Now, what can we do if we want, if we want to keep this invalid answer, you have to select something. So in this case, we'll do the following. We're going to say, change the state of wrong to state selected when state of now we're going to pick all the answers at least one is selected okay so as soon as something gets selected wrong will get selected and it will register as a incorrect answer if it's incorrect now let's duplicate this one we have to then now invert if nothing is selected so when the state of all is not selected and let's put this on the on the slide on the on the slide and let's preview how exactly this works as soon as i select one this gets selected it's still selected because you know at least one is selected oh this is not correct did i didn't i change the state Ah, set state to normal. Okay. Preview again. What can you do? Okay. Yeah. Works like a charm. Fantastic. Now, if we try to submit, it's invalid. If we pick one, it's wrong. And if we replay, replay entire project. For some reason that replay button doesn't work every time. So let's say like this, it's something's wrong, but we go back to quiz. And now, of course, this one is also, now it's wrong, but when we submit, we check and then we change it to correct. Submit and it's correct. And uh, that's the solution. That's the easy way you can get around, you know, these limitations in Storyline. You can use the freeform hack, do some work in the background with conditions like this, and you're golden. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.